All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G, and look what we're gonna be doing for you here today. Of course, action figures from Godzilla vs. Kong, and this is actually the Battle Roar of Godzilla. We almost have the entire collection of all of these Godzilla vs. Kong action figures by Playmates. It looks so awesome, and we just need this one more Battle Roar Kong. But let's take a closer look. Let's dive on into this Battle Roar Godzilla has sounds and uh, monster battle sounds and yeah let's go ahead and get them open but guys before we get started if you've not already subscribed to our channel please subscribe below hit the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time we have a new video come out talk to us in the comments below we'd love to hear from you let us know where in the world you're watching from give us a big thumbs up if you like godzilla versus kong or godzilla or kong or both and what do you say we go ahead and get started right now. What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG, Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight, don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Um. Super God, is this great! All right, friends. I can't wait to get this bad boy open, to cut this Godzilla loose, and compare him to the other one in this series of Godzilla vs. Kong, which this is as close as it gets. And there are some very... Uh, obvious differences including size and then of course the dorsal fins plates right there but um let's take a look at this um action figure in the box before we get it ripped on open so look at this beautiful artwork that we've just seen across all of the action figures try me press button to activate i'm going to press that in just a moment godzilla's mouth will open and check this out monster battle sounds battle roar godzilla monster verse blockbuster movie godzilla versus kong Again, can't say it enough. Beautiful artwork. And take a look what it says back here, which I believe is the same thing that it said on the other action figures, but um, they're only showing these two on here, so clearly uh, I would think they'd be released either at the same time or one slightly before the other. So let's check out this um, right up right here, and it says. Legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war rages on the surface and deep within our world as the spectacular secret realm of the titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. Wow. All right. Let's get this bad boy open. And there are two parts to this, even though it's barely even separated. And I will say this, pressing this button, it only makes a few sounds, but you keep pressing it, it'll keep starting the sound over. So like if you just hold it down, cause I was, and then uh, if you press it several times, it'll start over and over and over. Which for example, look, I was trying to get Godzilla to roar and I pressed it. That happened. So I was like, uh, but if you press it to like be a puppet, watch. It unfortunately just starts over every time. So you won't be able to like, be able to mimic the sounds uh, with the mouth opening. So let's get this bad boy open. Again, I want to be careful not to just nick or chip the paint. These scissors, they ain't cutting it no more. I'm finding a little bit of issues, but nah, we'll be fine. Okay, get this last couple ones out, or cut, I should say, so we can get this out. There we are. I'm like, do I have to cut this one too, or can I just twist it out? Twisted it out. 
Okay. So, let's go ahead and connect these two parts. Let me get closer right here. And look at this. This ball joint right here, which doesn't move, but this would pivot around it. There we go. Just hold firmly and then twist and apply pressure in. And so, one thing you'll notice right away is that this action figure is definitely larger and bigger than this other Godzilla. Maybe not in tons of ways, but number one, look how the head looks and how thick this tail is. Look at that compared to that one. It definitely looks, appears to be longer. And then of course, the spines, the dorsal plates right here look do look considerably different from those on this one. But these are pointier than these. So let's take a look to see what sort of articulation this Godzilla has. As far as the arms, they do not go out, they just turn around like a clock. They are soft and bendy. And the legs only go from here to here, which is not a lot of articulation. And they're really meant to just support him as he is roaring up in the air, look at that. And so I was like, man, wouldn't it be awesome if he could have his heat uh, ray, the blast coming from right there? Would be cool, but he can't. And then the sculpt is pretty good, look at that. And then look at these, that it's his own piece right here where he'd be glowing and intimidating. Uh, the part that's kind of weird is that how we went from this transparent, translucent uh, blue right here, which looks like beautiful, like ocean water is that it just ends here and just we have a spray painted like a light blue blue baby blue going on here and it definitely doesn't take that consistency on out here i guess we could paint these so it come across as consistent but let's take a closer look at the feet again it looks like one leg is intended to be in front of the other one. Ooh, look this one at least has ankle joints that's something even though the legs, they don't go out, they only go back and forth that much. And so, as I was telling you before, you just wanna maybe hold it down. That's it, again, because if I press it twice, it starts over. I do like the sounds it's making, but, um. Let me show you the open Godzilla right next to it. Give me a second, check this out. Okay, well there we go. Here is uh, these two other Godzillas which are essentially, you know, very similar. But, can I compare them for height and size? Look how these legs definitely appear to be bigger and thicker. The arms appear to be more muscular on this one. And a stronger elbow joint, look at that. And then look at the clear spines right here on this dorsal spines, plates, spikes. These are definitely more like Godzilla esque, where these are more rounded. Look at this. And then, of course, the tail. Look how big and thick that tail is versus this thin one. So. Huge difference. And then let's compare them to our Kong. Well, this is our Hong Kong Kong. And which didn't really think about till now. <laughs> this is how big he is in comparison. Look at that. Very cool, guys. So. This looks so awesome. And for height and size reference, we have our other action figures here. Let me turn them here. And yes, this tail does move slightly, but not a whole lot, just kind of pivots around like this. So we could have it like this, or like that, perhaps. But which one's gonna be the least awkward too? But it does support our Godzilla. So we can't turn the head, but all in all, pretty cool. So, 
All right, guys. I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you are watching from. Give us a big thumbs up if you like this video or Godzilla vs. Kong or both. And check out our YouTube channel page for more great videos like this. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.